Once upon a time, in a small alleyway in Paris, there lived a talented artist known as French Jazza, who having spent his life in search of true beauty and art, found himself lacking inspiration. No matter what he tried, he couldn't create an artwork he truly loved, or that others loved in turn. And the time was drawing near that he could no longer afford his rent or to pay for the necessities of life, baguettes and red wine. To be able to pursue his passion any longer, he needed to sell his art. And soon... Sacre bleu! A customer! Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, what do you think of my artwork, eh? I think wine is a drink for sissies. You got anything with whiskey in it? Well, but wine is life. Uh, wine is love, eh? Uh, wine is what makes the world go round. Mm, boring world. Give me a call when you have a painting with hair on its chest. Nobody appreciates my artwork. You don't deserve my painting. Leave and never come back! <laughs> Why will nobody ever love my art? I am destined to die a starving artist. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. What, what do you think of my artwork? I love it. I would like to buy it. You like it? We. Oui. You love it? We. Oui. Monsieur, what is your name? Je suis Benjamin. Benjamin. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you. It's yours. Have a wonderful day. What a kind stranger. What a beautiful man, Benjamin. I am so inspired. I must paint. Rejuvenated with inspiration, French Jazza painted like he had never painted before. Night after night, and into the weeks, months, and years ahead, he established the avant-garde painting movement known as Sexy Benjaminism. It was daring, it was fresh, and ooh la la did it sell. It is finished. Another master. I love my life. Thank you everybody for uh, enjoying my artwork. The gallery is closing for the day. Would anybody like to buy my latest uh, sexy oh, Benjamin artwork? Oh, yes, of course I would. Yes, Very well. Uh, whoever can catch it can oh. keep it. Oh, as long as you pay, make sure to leave your money in the till. The rest of you, your orders will be here tomorrow. Thank you for coming. It is a simple life I lead, but one full of art and love. My muse, it's so good to see you again. What have you become, French Jazza? Your art, it's... It's horrible. What? You, you think this is my art? 
But it's inspired by you, Benjamin. You are a sellout. Oh, no, 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 I have not sold out. I am sharing your passion and beauty with the world, eh? And even worse, you sold me out. No, I never, I never thought that you could be hurt by this. What am I to make of this, eh? Sexy Benjamin, everywhere I look. Sexy Benjamin, sexy Benjamin. You want a sexy Benjamin? I got a sexy Benjamin for you right here. I swear, I just wanted to create art and bring love and joy to the world. <laughs> you broke my heart, French Jezza. I used to love your art. Can you forgive me, Benjamin? Can you give me another chance? I don't believe you can change. I swear I can, and I will. Join me, and I will create art with and for you that will change the world for better. We, oui. I will give you one last chance. Oh, Benjamin. I'm so happy. And so, French Jazza and good old sexy Benjamin here ended up joining forces together and enjoying a nice quiet life of sincere art and beauty for the rest of their days. Me on the other hand, I got bigger fish to fry, but I did learn something. This wine stuff ain't that bad after all. I'll see you later. I hope you enjoyed my goofy little animated short here today. The way this has come together is absolutely amazing. Starting off with Flameback Games, the people who make the game Passbar 2. Passbar 2, for those of you who don't know, is a game that I played through twice. It was just so much fun. And you can play in French jazz mode with the character that I was puppeteering here today. They've been real team players in lending us the assets for the sets in the game Passbar 2 so I could make this stupid animation with it. Speaking of the animation, this was all made in a VR program called Flipside. The amazing thing about it is were I to traditionally try and 3D animate this, even with just fairly basic 3D animation stuff, it would take weeks, if not months, to make something the same length as what you watched just now. But the entirety of what you just watched was puppeteered and animated in real time in VR with the Vive, and you can do it with the Oculus. And if you're interested in doing this stuff yourself, I can't recommend Flipside enough. It's so much fun you can import your own assets, sets, characters, environments, and just really make your own stories any way you want to. It's so exciting. The third thank you goes to Liv, who have made this incredible. Oh, I've dropped my palette. Ah, there we go. They've made this, oh, I keep dropping it. The third thank you goes to Liv, who have made this incredible mixed reality setup, which puts me in virtual reality. As you can see on the, uh, the little screen preview there, this is what I look like in real life. I'm, I'm in a green screen cube holding controllers. However, they have worked with a whole bunch of different VR games so you can project yourself into virtual reality. And if you're a streamer or a content creator like myself, you can use their Live Client to easily calibrate to a real camera or even just use a virtual camera in place synced to a real camera. You can get it on Steam for free and none of this would have been possible without any single one of those people not contributing and they've all been such team players and so exciting to work with. So I encourage you to go check them out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. It's a bit of a different one, of course, but I do hope to make more Flipside content in the future. And it may not be in this universe. It may be something completely different. So leave your suggestions down below as to what you would like to see me puppeteer animate in the future in Flipside, be it weird, wonderful, crazy, ambitious, or just plain stupid. I'm all ears. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more fun with art and creativity. And until next time, I'll see you later. 
Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.